Today I'm going to make some cute little heart initial rings made with paper clips. I sketched out the designs and I'll link up the templates in the description below the video. For the paper clip rings, I use the 28 millimeter regular size paper clip. You need a round form, so a marker or a ring cone and your tools. If you don't have paper clips, the best thing to use is stainless steel wire. This is 20 gauge. It's quite stiff, just like the paper clips. You can use 20 gauge tarnish resistant brass, tinned copper, or any half hard wire. And if you only have a softer wire, use a little thicker, like 18 gauge. We always start with opening up the paper clip with our flat pliers. You can do this by hand, but it's easier to do with the pliers. So just go slowly and pinch it along as you go. You just want to get it as straight as you can. So we have to make the letters really small. Start and bend this at a angle. And then we're just going to start this bend here. And if we need to get even smaller, get some smaller pliers in there. Bend it up and down. There's the A and then we want to form the heart. So bend that down to the center and up and then we're going to form the heart. So we're just going to take this, go across and up and down. And we're going to take this one and bend it to the side. We'll get our round form or ring cone. Bring this all the way around curve out the end and then we're just going to bring this one down here and there's your A in the heart. If you want to do a B just take this one bring it around get your flat pliers bend it back give it a pinch bring this one around take this bend it straight down and then start to form the heart. Bring that one up. Start forming your heart. Up, down. Bend that over to the side and form the band. So we're going to bring that one around. All the way around. Pinch it down and push that one around. And just adjust it. Wiggle it around. And there you have the letter B in a heart. So for the C, we're going to curve out the top bend it a little more than you need to and pull it back and then bring this one up and keep it simple. We can just form the heart up and down. And if you want a sharper angle, use the tweezer nose pliers, bend it up and then bend this across and we're just going to form the band. So bring it around, curve out the end, push it in, and there you have your C in the heart. So for the D, we're just going to bend it at the top, a little less than a quarter inch. Get your round pliers, curve it around, hold it with the flat pliers and bend it up. Form the heart and the side. Bend it up and across and then form the band, curve it out, adjust it and there you have your D in the heart. So I'm going to make a letter E in a heart. So we're just going to bring this one down here, bring that one across, pinch it, bring this one around and then we're going to form the heart up here, down, up and around and then bring this one up and across and then we're going to take this and bring it all the way around curve out the end of the band and wiggle it around a little bit and there you have your e in the heart for the f just bend it for the center line there and then bend it back on itself squeeze it down and then bend this straight up Pinch it down again, bend this across, and then we have to form the heart. So we're going to take this, bend it up, take our round pliers, cross, cross, and that down there. And then here at the bottom, 
we'll just bend it straight up and across. And then we'll get our round form, bring it around, curve it out, adjust it as you need, and there's your F in the heart. For the G, we're just going to bend this little line that will go in the middle of the G, and we're going to curve it around just to form the rest of the G. Take the needle nose pliers, bend it straight up on an angle, and then form the top of the heart back and forth. And then take our needle nose pliers again, bend it up, and sometimes we don't have a lot of wire left, so you might want to opt to make these with actual 20 gauge wire and use a longer piece, like five or six inches. So bring this around, curve it out, adjust it, and there you have your G in the heart. So for the H, just bend it straight to the back, pinch it, and then bend this across. Bend it straight up, and then bend this to the front. Give it a little pinch. There's the H. We'll flip it over. I'm going to take this and bend it up on an angle. Pinch it a little more. We'll form the top of the heart. So bring that one around and up and down. Pinch it in a bit if you have to. Take that up and across. And we'll get a round form or ring cone, bring it around, curve out the end, and there you have your H in the heart. The eye is super simple. We're just going to bend that up on an angle, get your round pliers, form the heart, up and down, try to center that eye, bring this up and across. Take your round form or your ring cone, bring it around. This band will end up being a little bit longer because you don't use as much wire for the eye. And then we're going to adjust it. And there you have your eye in the heart. For the J, we're just going to curve out the bottom. Bring it straight up. And then I'm going to bring this across with the flat pliers. And then we're going to form the bottom of the heart. Bring this straight down. And at the center, just bring it straight up, form the top of the heart, bring it out a little wider if you have to. So down, up, down. Keep in mind, these are very stylized. They don't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna bend that one straight across, get our round form or the ring cone, bring it around, curve it out, adjust this, and there you have your J in the heart. For the K, we're just going to take this and bring it to the back, pinch it, and then bend it at about the halfway point. Just bend it up and again, bend it to the back. Pinch it, bring this one straight down, and then we want to bend that up on an angle and start forming our heart. So bring this down, up, and down, bend it on an angle, bend it across, and we'll form our band. So bring it around. This one also takes a lot of wire, so you might want to use 20 gauge wire so you can make the band a little longer. Bring this one in. If you need to angle that out a little more, you can. And there you have your K in the heart. So for the L, we're just going to bend this across at the bottom, and we're going to form our heart. So bend this up on an angle, take the round pliers, down, up, down, bend this up on an angle and across, round form, bring it around, curve it out, adjust this in, and there you have your L in the heart. So for the M, we're just going to bend that down on an angle, up, and down. Wiggle this around as you need. You could pinch these in a little bit, bend it up at an angle, and form your heart. So down, up, down.
down bring this in a little more bend this up and across form your band curve it out wiggle it around and there you have your M in the heart so for the end we'll just form the end down and up now bend this one up pinch it in a bit this one too and we'll form the heart so down up and down bring that one up and across form the band curve it out and wiggle it in place and there you have your N in the heart so for the O we're just going to curve that out bring that one down hold it with the flat pliers to roll it around and up and then we're just going to form the heart back and forth down bend that up on an angle straight across get your round form bring this one around curve it out adjust this as you need and there you have your O in the heart so for the P we're going to curve this around bend this straight down so there's the P bend it up on an angle form the heart up again and around bend it up and across take your round form bring it around curve it out wiggle it around and there you have your P in the heart so for the Q we'll just form the circle part first so bring that one around and up and we're just going to bend that in and then to the outside just to form the little bottom part of the Q and then we want to bend it straight up form the top of the heart down up down bring it up straight across and form the band curve it out wiggle it around and there you have your Q in the heart so for the R you start it like the P or just bring it straight across around bring that to the back give it a good little pinch bring that straight down and then up on an angle now we're going to form the top of the heart bring it down up and down wiggle that in bring that one up and across make the ring band curve it out wiggle it in place and there you have the R in the heart so for the S we're just going to take this and bring it around and around form the heart bring this one up and across form the band round it out wiggle it in place and there you have your S in the heart so for the T we're just going to bend it across and then to the front pinch it in place take this side bend it up we'll just form the heart so there there and around bend it up on an angle bend it out to the side take your round form or ring cone bring it around curve it out wiggle it in place and there you have your T in the heart so for the U we'll just curve it around keep it simple bend this out a little bit and it's straight down and then form the heart down up down wiggle it in place bend that to the side get your round form a ring cone bend it around and then we'll curve it out a little bit push it down and there you have your U in the heart so the V is really easy just take the wire bend it up on a sharp angle form the heart just take your round pliers bend it down and 
up and down. Wiggle it in place a little bit. Flat pliers again. Bend it up and straight across. Curve it around. Curve out the band. Wiggle it a bit. And there you have your V in the heart. So for the W, we're just going to bend it up and down and up. You may have to pinch it in a little bit more if it's too wide. And we're going to curve off the top of the heart around. Wiggle it to center it a little bit. Bend it at the halfway point and across. Get your round form or ring cone. Curve it around. Curve out the end. Wiggle it around. And there you have your W in the heart. For the X, we'll just bend it to the back. Give it a pinch. Bend it to one side. Hold it with the flat pliers and bend it to the front. Give it a pinch. Now at the bottom here, bend it up and then form your heart. So down, up, down. Center this as you need. Bend this at the center point. Off to the side and then form the band. Curve it around. If the band is short, either use a longer wire or make the heart smaller. And there you have your X in the heart. So for the Y, we're just going to form the top of the Y first. So bend it like a V. And then we're going to bend this to the back. Give it a pinch. And then bend that straight down. There's the Y. Then we're going to bend that one straight up. Form the heart. So bring this down, up, and down. Bend it up, straight across, and form the band. Curve out the end. Go in with the flat pliers if you have to adjust it. Wiggle this around, and there you have your Y in the heart. So for the Z, we're just going to form the Z back and forth. Bend it up, form the heart. The round pliers, down, up, and down. Bend this up on an angle and to the side. Get your round form, your marker or ring cone. Curve out the end. Wiggle it to center it. There you have your Z in the heart. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.